playing. Absolutely. So there's no excuses anymore. This guy is legit and he's showing it. Yeah. And I, I, I'm just loving it. All right, so we're going to go in again. Back to these uh, two teams. Of course, guys, this is 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, that'll be changed very shortly. But we are going to Nairo Numeki going up against E7 and MVD. Having these guys both back on action here. Yep. Very, very stellar, very high-paced teams. And I'm really excited to see what we're going to have here from all of them. Oh, yeah. And two teams we actually have seen on the stream, and they both win. Yep. So uh, only one can move on. Yep. And we'll see what it is. Uh, Umeki and Nairo, definitely a very interesting mix of play style and region as well. Yep. And then we have Sam and MVD coming from Florida. And uh, yeah, they've been static teammates since Raw. So definitely want to see what Sam and MVD can do. They're also very consistent in, uh, in Smash 4. They're a very consistent team, always yeah. making it into those top eights True. for sure. Now, one of the things I think, yes, mm. of course, it's going to be very, very scary is how is MVD going to deal with this onslaught of Nairo? Nairo yes. coming from Brawl, he understands the nuance of his character Snake. A lot of people right now still trying to figure it out because of his absence in Smash 4, but Nairo is not missing a step. So MVD really does have to be careful once he's uh, in a disadvantaged state. Oh man, and MVD uh, closing out that stock. There's the sticky on you, Sam. And this time we're going to see not the Yoshi. That was cute. Woo, and that is the power. If, if Esam hits you, I'm, I'm getting the C4 wow. and a beautiful <laughs> edge guard. Wow. wow, and Umeki striking right back. So much action, we can barely keep up. I man. know, and Jeez. that's the thing I love because I knew when we, you had both these teams come up to bat, we knew we are going to have some edge guarding. Oh, we yes. knew these guys are going to be playing that offstage game, and it was going to be so good. And definitely right now, I am impressed. They're, they're literally all on the same half of the map. Like, these guys are just so clustered in and it's so hard to play in that situation oh yeah and the fact that they're so stoic they're able to do that it's just it really says the level of talent for yep. these players all right right now Isam coming in and we see that quick attack a very quick option to come in and help MVP out MVP was off stage Nairo was looking like a shark in water and um, Isam was there to save the day are you gonna hit him good call a lot wow of that was what a save yeah, beautiful save and I love that he understood that if Nara recovers low, they're both going to be in bad position. Yeah. So let me hit him even though he could recover. So he can recover from a better spot. And we saw that forward thinking from Umeki. He yeah. went out really far so he wouldn't get punished as hard. And that's the kind of brilliant doubles play. And again, the edge guards don't stop. Nairo, Never. I want to talk about the teams, man. Yep. I want to talk about it, but Nairo is just like, nah. He said, stop talk talking, about my man. edge guards. Talk about the guarding of the edges. I got my sword. I'm slicing people yes. out here. Slice. And just like that, oh, jumping right over and Esam. And that is another double. Sometimes it's not the optimal thing to keep fighting that 1v1. And we see Esam. He won neutral. Bam. Darted for the 2v1. Oh, my goodness. And what a team combo right there from Omeki and Nairo. Yes. They're able to bring this one back. A little extra damage, man. Doing wonders. And right now, they got to be careful. They can't die. And just as I said, Umeki going to get taken out. Nairo going for the edge guard. I totally agree with it. He needs to make a play happen because the 2v1 is so hard for Snake. And just like that, MVD and Esam going to close that one. Wow. So quick. Yeah. Woo. And they were mounting such an explosive comeback. And even Umeki just uh, nodding his head, smiling and laughing. He knew that was just yeah. It's such a crazy game. And I can't, like I said, I can't even imagine being there playing it, playing oh, yeah. at that fast pace. Like, just registering the situation it like even when you're watching it's hard to keep up with everything now imagine being on the hot seat playing yep. it's so hard to do and these guys crazy. can do it they they got the skill they got the talent and they got that time into the game they put in a lot of work these guys push the meta for their characters oh yeah been there done that that's what these guys are about <laughs> you already know man I'm, I'm all about that hard work yes hashtag the grind yes the grind always always tournament's cool too but you know <laughs> 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 Let's get into Dang, it. And, uh, I game guess, two. I guess we're already at game two. Like yes. that was such a quick game so one. Quick. Like, jeez, man. Like a very crazy change of pace from the Yeti 8-bit man. Right. And not not to say that that wasn't hype, but like it's just in in terms of just how fast it is. The the, the change of pace is so insane. Yeah. We have not so much tanky characters and just so much aggression coming out from both teams. Yeah. Right now, MVD just setting up all the explosives, taking control of that. But Nairo not going to let him get away with that. He's pressuring MVD. He's not letting him play that control character that, you know, Snake can be. And sometimes if you give Snake too much respect and you ignore him, it's a problem. You yeah. can't let him just set up all those explosives around you. Sure. 
So right now, Red Team has the center stage control, but... Good up, Smash. Man, Esam just fighting his way in, but Uzmeki striking back and actually going to take the stock, but Esam going to have his teammates back and going to get the free sticky. Ooh, but right now, MVD was locked up by Nairo, so he couldn't confirm the sticky, but who is it on? Yeah. Oh, I see it. Where watch it, out, Nairo. Where is it, man? Watch, watch out, out, Nairo. It's, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nairo knew. Nairo oh, yeah. He did. Ooh, man. And right there, where is MVD going to go? The, the Parasol, not going to find its mark. Wow. MVD went extremely high. And in all that chaos, MVD going to take Nairo's stock. But just like that, Nairo going to pay him right back. Yeah, really good stuff there. Always fine with that revenge kill. Okay, he's going to get to the ledge safely here. The Nair drifting off as well. Very nice. And dang, MVD. Run up, Perry. To his help own his teammate. teammate. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Very smart stuff. follow up. <laughs> really good stuff. Oh, very good down air, out of shield here, coming out from MD. I mean, pretty much Snake's main out of shield option, like his quickest out of shield option for sure. Yeah. Oh, and there's That's Nairo in the juggle situation here. Oh, MVD going high, going to Esam, but Esam trying to protect MVD, and just like that, the stocks trade. And right now, pretty much an even game here. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, he's oh, going to no. make that one back, and you're going to go to that last stock. And this is looking really rough. Yes, right now, Nairo and Umeki have to start clutching it out. They don't have much stocks and time to work with here. Yeah. MVD and Esam not planning to slow down for them. Oh, wow, and that Thunder Edge Guard almost hitting its mark. And yep. so much things to worry about. MVD just tossing out these explosives. And, and it's been crazy because one of the things I really love seeing from MVD, because he's able to play at such a distance away, he's been able just to thwart a lot of things. You know, again, the recon mission, man. Staying yep. back. You know, Esam has just been a, such an aggressive assailant, man. Starting attacking Nairo and always pushing him off stage. Really forcing Umeki to make a decision that he has to go and really try to root for his teammate. While MVD is free to go ahead and throw bombs and do whatever he needs to do. Exactly. Yeah, it's so strong. And Esam is also putting out enough pressure to give MVD that space to set up and not and make sure he's not getting overwhelmed. MVD, no jump though. Oh, he has no jump. Okay, okay. Oh, but oh, Umeki, no, oh no! Man. Really good coverage from Esam. He knew yeah. that they were looking for that opening, and exactly. right when the opening showed itself, he covered his teammate. MVD gets back on stage, lands the up tilt, and now we got the two v one situation. There's the sticky and oh, you're gonna, and that's easy yeah, he tried to style. Mode. He tried to style though. Yeah, he really did. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah it awesome. stuck back onto him, yeah. Oh, wait, and now the pressure is still going to Nikita. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's still <laughs> going. It don't matter, dude. <laughs> the, Seek the revenge the missile. The, extra ship. the revenge of seeking Four Nikita. And is this 3 out of 5? Okay, yeah, yeah, this definitely has to be 3 out of 5. No one even moved. Not even a flinch. Yeah, not even a flinch. Not even a doubt in the competitor's eyes here. When Omeki, not laughing anymore, man. Game 1 is kind of laughing after yeah. uh, no more smiles. Yeah, no fun and games, man. We're at war. Yeah. <laughs> and we saw him just composing himself, taking a deep breath, taking a sip of that Red Bull, and just getting ready for his next match. Nairo also going to have to find an answer, man. It's, it's, it's really hard. Like I said, Snake is a very troublesome character to deal with. Looks like Nairo is going to stick with Lucina. I definitely agree. I like the Lucina for the edge guards against Snake. And so, man, dude, just all in all, though, Hi, guys, thank you so much for joining us here. I hope you guys are loving this double play. I know myself, Korean, are having a good old time here. Oh, man. It is so good. It's so cool. And I love to see this because this is what Genesis does, right? This is what Genesis this is, what Genesis is about. Genesis so. does because a lot of people are like, oh, I feel some type of way about doubles. How can you feel this way when you're seeing this level oh, of play? Dude, it's so crazy. And it's all about bringing the people together, man. Yeah. And I I'm glad that... We're here, and we're able to enjoy this doubles madness with you guys, man. It's yeah. just it's, it's such a good time. But right now, green team, uh, dang, took in the, took in the hand, man. Yep, <laughs> yep. kind of leaning right now. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And, I mean, this is what red team needs. They need that confidence. You see. They need to be like, hey, man, we're down 0-2, but we got this. We can do this. Because once you lose confidence, that's when it's over. Yeah. And right now, green team trying to strike back, but, dang, they have taken so much damage. When will the stocks be taken, though? Four tilt, going to get punished by MVP. Umeki trying to come in and reach for the kill, but this is where Red Team might meet their demise. If they reach too hard for these kills, th the deficit could close. Yeah, very easily. <laughs> See, good stuff there by MVD again. Playing, you know, sticking to his game plan here. Just sitting back, oh, going ahead, doing some damage, and getting just playing absolutely immaculate. And that's what really what you have to do to make this work. Yes, and Umeki going to close out that Esam first stock with the dash attack. And one thing, another great thing about Snake is you can 
kind of jump in the air, go Cypher really, really high up right. while your teammate's gone if yeah. they just lost a stock. And that's another great thing. But Nairo gonna find the mark there. And right now, oh, Mechie no. could, could, not, um, could not get saved by Nairo there. But nonetheless, oh. that was the first stock. So yes. he's still yes. in a good position. Uh, you know, Nairo still has three. Absolutely. Oh that. my gosh, and that is a up B. Yes, bear. Oh, yes, you're done. my lord. And there goes Nairo once again. Pikachu is not an easy character to edge guard, but Nairo don't care. Yeah, Nairo does He don't not care, care how good your recovery yeah. is. He wants to slice Exactly. You. And one of the cool things, though, in this game is at the end of the day, when you do look at a character like Pikachu, the extension of the hurt box from the up beat, yes. it becomes so massive. Yes. And it's definitely hittable if you put a, put a hitbox out there. So really yeah. good stuff there by Nairo. You see him chasing. Not going to get the pair that he wanted, and MVD's going to live another day. Wait a minute. Oh, oh so man. slippery. Yeah, so hard to catch, and Nairo was out for blood, but Esam putting the pressure on Nairo. Not, yep. You're not going to reactively edge guard my teammate for free. Not on my watch. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, the damage, though. Man, and just like uh, that, so much damage onto Nairo. Now Esam on the if center stage here. Umeki trying to fight his way in, but Esam with the Nair the into the up smash confirmed yeah, on yeah. the uh, daisy. Now, Mechie. yep, got him. <laughs> and there goes another <laughs> stock. Now, just like that, Esam and MVD flip the switch. Just like that, man. And MVD, man, I got to give credit with credit to you. This guy, his awareness of where his bomb bar is. Yeah. So, so incredible. Honestly, like I and I love that from both him and Ally. It's really bringing this character to, like, kind of like just the way they move and the way they utilize these tools and traps. Yeah. Like, always keep tabs on these things. And spoilers, dude, all the top Snakes players, they're really good at doubles. <laughs> just letting you know. They're pretty good at doubles. Oh, my. Did Umeki just do that to you? Wait a minute. How Wait any, a minute. When you kill Snake at 60, though, it feels good. <laughs> oh, it definitely feels good. <laughs> character such a crazy tank. And just like that, Red Team turned it around and got the Parasol kill off the top. Oh. The trade to seal the deal. Wow. Nairo and Umeki, they're staying in the set. Oh, they, they are came not giving to up. Play. Not giving up just yet. Wow, what a set, dude. Yeah. What a, like just what a turnaround. And yeah. That's the kind of edge guards they were looking for the uh -huh. whole time. But I think in that situation, Esam couldn't back MVD up. Yeah. So Umeki was able to set up into, or just Red Team in general, was able yeah. to set up into that Parasol kill. Amazing stuff coming out. Very, very strong, man. Very, very incredible play. And that's what you need to do. You have to clutch those things out because when you're sitting with your back to the wall, you're 2 0 deficit. You have to do something. You have to go wild. You gotta, you know, you gotta stretch yourself. Yeah. In order to make it there and make you have happen. to make plays. Yes. Too many players out there, they play to not, or they play to not lose. Not lose. Yep. But you, sometimes you gotta play to win. You gotta play to win. It sounds sometimes, stupid. It sounds. But best dumb. believe, there's people who go there and you know, what? oh, I'm just gonna be safe here. I'm gonna do this. No. There are certain times, well, that's not gonna net you anything. Yes. Uh, eventually, they're Especially gonna win. Especially in this game. Yep. Absolutely. You gotta have blood. Yes. Thirst. Kill them. Yeah. Destroy yeah. them. Yeah. You gotta know sometimes. I have to make this play, and if I do, I win. Yeah, and you have to have the confidence. And even if you can't really back it up right now, you have to keep putting yourself in that situation until you get good at it. And yeah. there's nothing wrong with that, you yeah. know? But right now, game number four. Can Nairo and Umeki set up this game five situation, man? I, I don't know. Let's see. I mean, right now, it's not looking too hot. But again, we saw them turn around when it mattered most. So let's see. Uh, both uh, teams are at three stocks player so they're in being okay oh they're the up throw wow the grenades actually kind of interrupting that situation oh, there, no. but oh yeah it was still there but it uh it hits the mark yeah absolutely kill always gets confirmed yep <laughs> always <laughs> confirmed he's that beautiful forward tilt here and just pressuring both of red team off to the stage yeah. to the left finally gonna make their way fight their way actually back onto center stage here. Now Red Team with all the control, the stagger on the Dancing Blade. I like it from that. Yeah, really great stuff. And you know what's very interesting too? Snake's dash attack is such a good tool. It's, Dude, it's it so good. It clears the stage so well and hits at an amazing angle, giving you all the time in the world to do 2v1 situations, yes. set up any mines and traps, and MVD is in is. space. And I love this guy. Even when he's on the other side of the stage, edge guarding someone, he still has a presence of mind as I have I have the heat seeking measle. Yes. Otherwise known the measle. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise known as the yellow rat himself, Esam. Yes. And once he gets a touch, best believe, kill confirmed.
Oh, yes. Kill confirmed all days long. And right now, I mean, MVD trying to hold on to stock. Getting edge guard here. Nairo not able to seal out on that directional air dodge to the stage. And that's one thing that it can be a little hard. You only have one air dodge, but you can put a direction on it. So it's pretty nice. Yeah, absolutely. But yes, yeah, we've seen so wow. many stocks Ooh. sealed out by green team. That that down beat, the, the C4 stick onto yeah. the teammate. Go get him, little so red. Good. Man, I feel like that kill that Mechie got at Isan was so slick. Like, oh, they're yeah. literally in a scramble situation, and he just bared and walked away. Like, it was a smooth criminal. Like, <laughs> he just... <laughs> nothing to see here. Yeah, nothing to see here. <laughs> Don't look. And right now, red team in a situation just like game number three. They're down a stock. They need to make something happen, and they're running out of stocks to play with. So they're, yeah. they're going to have to start making these plays happen. And you already know, Nairo and Umeki, they ain't scared to make plays. So oh, they definitely are don't scared. count them out just yet here. But MVD trying to seal out this game as, as, as long. And MVD is trying to make his plays on his own, though, man. Yeah. Ooh, but the bear from Nairo. Now we got three stocks on each team, but red team leaning just a little bit more. Ooh, the combos. Wait a minute. All just like that. 40%. And it, we're not done. But Esam with the dash attack going to close yeah, out okay. Nairo's last stock. They're on their last legs. Yes, they, they are. They have to make something happen they right now. I mean, I feel like they're already starting that already. They understood that this stock could go at any point in time, and they knew that it's go time. They knew they had to get some combos, they needed to get damage, and what a beautiful dare and up air. And that fair to close up that stock. I'm not done yet. I'm not, not the, done the yet. The dare to up air didn't kill. Cool. And I'm going to catch scary. a landing. Oh my gosh. MVD lands for free. Gets in there. Get interruption there by Omeki. Wait a minute. Nairo goes up. There. Can Isam cover him? Oh, and we saw the quick response from Isam covering his teammate. Really good stuff. The Nair gonna connect here. Umeki off stage with a shield. Ooh, what happened? Oh my goodness. He's Are we about dead. to see a game five? What? What actually? Did he get hit by Yo, Rack? honestly, bring out your handy dandy <laughs> notebook, dude, because we need some blues clues in this. Dude, I have no clue what just That was like <laughs> the craziest scramble I've ever seen, and then MVD was just gone. I yeah. didn't even see him fly off to the left. He just disappeared. He was just like Houdini. Where, he where he actually go? faded away. <laughs> he gave the peace sign and dipped. <laughs> Isam, you got this. I believe. Wow. I believe in your clutch. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. But but can Isam clutch it, though? Yeah, I, I clutch Sam. Is that a thing? Wait a minute. Oh, wait. But... Nairo gonna get the hit. The forward smash gonna connect. Umeki not oh, close enough for the punish. Oh, the oh, out smash. Nairo didn't get the stock. And oh man, we got a 1v1 situation off stage here. And Isam definitely not someone that is a stranger to oh, edge guarding. Oh, Beautiful oh, tech into the directional air dodge. I love that. Yes. So smart. Got himself back on stage and now has a ledge trap. Oh, Going back into neutral. The quick attack, but the grab coming out from Isam. Gonna throw him off stage here. Going to jump up and over the other t not connecting here. And a fair will do it. Esam's... Oh, no. they punish on the get-up attack? The up air, though. Man, Esam e is trying to find this stock right now. Ooh. Oh, the reverse oh, 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 is a reverse! Oh, we're going to a game five! And Nairo... He looks at him, he's like, what? <laughs> he's what like, yeah, uh, come on now. You know the storyline. You what? read the book. You know how it is. <laughs> Uh, no way. Oh my goodness. He got the kill. You know what I call man, that? He got the kill. You know what I, call that? I call that privilege. Privilege. That is privilege. Yes. And I like guess that. what? Almost every character's got a little bit of privilege. A little privilege. A little bit. A little bit, man. A little the bit. The shield poke. I, yep. Unless he tried the parry, maybe? I, yeah, I, man. I honestly. Wow. Privilege. Anyways, I'm so glad we're here, of course, at Genesis 6. February 1st to 3rd, what of course, that is right Black now? History Month, and we're out here live having a good time at Game 5, <laughs> talking about some Lucina privilege. Bam, I, I just feel like it was just, they were down 0-2. They what? were down 0-2? What happened? People came to play. People, oh, is Nairo, is Nairo playing to win? I think I'm, uh, he just might be. He might be. You know what, man? He just might so be. So for all you guys that out there playing not to lose, uh, try playing to win. Try playing to win. They're not one in the same. Because <laughs> when you play to win, you get you got those clutch players. Yes. You, you, you got gotta the clutch, be clutch factor. Yep. And those are the moments. Oh yeah. That defines the good from the great. Yes. Do you have the clutch? Do you have I the know clutch? you're solid, but do you got the clutch? Ah, talk to him, man. Speaking of solid snake on the field, oh, yes. I love that character. Oh, MVD, man. Making everyone it work. is here. Yes. I. Literally cried tears. Oh, I did, man. I saw Zan and I just hugged him. I cried I tears him. of joy when I saw Snake just come out and just like that typing. Yep. Everyone is Everyone ah. is here, man. I had the manliest hug I ever had in my life. <laughs> and then afterwards, I we stopped talking to each other. We just sat we sat down on one knee and just had a codec call. Yes. Hour-long codec call. <laughs> 
but man, back to the match. And both teams going tick for tack, but red team kind of bleeding a little bit more here. Umeki kind of on his last legs, 126% here. And ooh, but MVD the forward almost got the stock here, but Nairo hanging on it. Who's going to get this lead? Who is? Who's going to start off this game? Oh, the lead? And, and we're starting off. It's going to be green team. And oh, another one. Green team. The Always. parries. So consistent. So consistent. And the parry into the up tilt. MVD looking so clean out here. But can red team bite back? And that's that's been the struggle. Yeah. It's always been green team that strikes first. And then can red team bring it back from the clutches of defeat? True. And oh, oh, that was wait. so good, man. Oh, so Going with the float cancel bears and then the team combo into the dare. He has some extra damage from Nairo, man. Oh, and dying off the side off the dash attack. Yep. And MVD actually taking a lot of damage. Red team actually swinging this yes. in their favor just within that 30 seconds. These doubles is so wild. These team combos are coming alive for Red team, and that's really what's been making the difference. And you see this full cats movement. All the see you got, all the things you guys see Umeki doing, uh, they're not easy. <laughs> not at all. Probably the hardest top tier to play in this game. I so agree. that's one thing I love. Like a lot of these top tiers, they're very high skill cap, and the Thunder gonna take it out here for Esam and the setup on the C4 as well. Who's it on? Still on Esam here. Up oh, there it is. Oh man, and the shield pressure coming out, the corner pressure coming out from Umeki. Daisy is so strong at that. And all these trades, man. MVD is fine as long as he keeps the stock. Yep. He will take as much stock. damage as he needs to. He just needs to hold on to the stock. Yeah. As long as he can continue the mission. But it looks like Nairo ain't going to let him. Nope. Fish and mail. We got three stocks of pee and the back and forth here from green and red team is just so intense right now. And just everyone is taking so much damage so quick. Nairo is out there. He wants the edge guard on the Pikachu. Oh my goodness. But MVD, they're the back of his team. And Nairo is on his last stock now. So good. Man, and MVD with these parries on point. But Nairo brings it back. Takes the stock. We got oh one stock apiece, but Umeki's got to watch out. He's oh, at yeah. kill percent. We need to see those combos. Yeah, and Esam recognizes it. He oh, recognizes man. he does not want to see MVD go off stage because MVD has really been the backbone of this team. Yes. MVD can't go out just yet. He's got to hold on, and Esam will be there to back him up and get some kills along the way. Oh, the forward goodness. smash. Okay, now. Oh, man, the 2 Wait. one oh. Wait a minute. Where's the C4, though? Esam still got it. Oh, and this could now, be the back air. Not going to do it yet. Not quite it, but a lot of... Oh, oh no. Oh, man. You can't... Oh, you, you got to be careful, just like MK. Oh, yep. Yep, okay. gets a spot dodge into the up tilt and going to close that one out. Oh, man. 